face. Oh, how do I flip the camera? There we go. Ah, okay, I'm here. Oh, for some reason, I had it not. YouTube just seems to really like flipping the camera to my face every time, even though the camera isn't facing that way. But maybe it's because most people probably film them fa their faces and not something else. Anyway, I'm just going to get the stream set up on my iPad. Let's just turn the sound off. Um, home. And that's find me. I'm glad that the um, little live thing that I had, um, like indicator card thing, worked. So hello Vicky, hello Monica, nice to see you again. Okay, I'm finally here. Um, I think I'm going to leave my little lamp off at the minute because I kind of feel like the lighting looks quite alright. So um, this is the front cover of the book if you didn't see it yesterday. And we are going to do a little bit more of this lady. Okay. So I think I might do some of these flowers on the side. Because Sammy suggested that that might be a good bit to do. And I just think, why not? Because a lot of people see how skin gets done all the time. So I'd rather do something a bit different. So I'm going to do them white flowers. So they're not going to have like tons of like I guess bits <laughs> and I will outline them but the, unfortunately I won't be able to outline them until after I've done the background because I'm going to use watercolour paint and I could possibly end up going over the white line with the paint so I think it's best I um would you wait to do it and hello Sue I'm glad to see you here thanks I'm glad that you are looking forward to my stream oh I've just got a bit of pencil sharp and dust on my desk I'm just gonna brush that off annoy me okay so I'm thinking for these flowers I'm going to zoom in a little bit <laughs> okay I want to do them white let me just move this this way a minute I want to do them uh white so but they are are they blossom though so they're going to be like a pink a pale pink like a pinky white so there's going to be a bit of pink to them a pink tinge but they are mostly going to be like um quite a light color so I think I might use the whole vines for those just because they tend to have quite light pink colours. Let me get my swatch a minute. So, if we look here. Um, oh, thanks, Monica. I'm glad you like my squirrel. So, um, we've got shell pink and cherry blossom and even ash rose. Those would be quite nice for like a blossom colour. Um, however, I'm going to try not to put too much colour on. So I think I'm just going to go with the cherry blossom and a bit of shell pink first and maybe a little bit of ivory just to see how um, that goes. Um, and then I may add a little bit of ash rose if I just want to deepen the centre up a little bit. But I'm going to see how we get on with these colours first. And I might get a bit, I might add a bit of ivory, so I'm going to grab it just in case I want it. So those ones are sorted, let's move that over here. Hey KP, even though I just talked to you like a minute ago, nice to see you. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the Cherry Blossom. So this is one of my favourite colours from the Holbein's. This is Cherry Blossom. I'm not sure if you can see it very well because the light's kind of shining on it. But it's Cherry Blossom and it's OP011 if you want to know. Um, again, if you don't have this colour, any pale pink colour out of any of the sets you have will work. So, um, I might zoom, see if I can zoom in just a tiny bit more so you can see what I'm doing. So, I'm going to start with this one here. So, I just want to do like a little bit in the middle. I don't know how well this is going to like show up because it's kind of going to be more on the pale side. So um, I'm just kind of going over a little bit in the middle. So this is where I might add a teeny tiny bit of that um, ash rose just to like in the centre bit there. And then I'm just going to bring it out like a little bit. I'm, I'm going quite lightly though because I kind of don't want it to be too like dark. And then I'm going to get the, ooh, I'm going to get my shell pink, which is... OP019 
and I'm going to add a little bit of that. Kind of going to go over a little bit where I've done some of the cherry blossom, and then I'm just going to lightly, really lightly drag that out a little bit. Okay, and then I think I'm going to add a tiny bit of the ivory. So this is ivory, and this is OP one one six. And I'm kind of going to go all over everything kind of with the ivory just to kind of blend it a little bit. So they're supposed to be kind of quite pale. Um, once I've done this whole flower, I'm going to, I think I am going to add a bit of an ash, row just, uh, ash rose just a little bit in the centre. But we'll do the whole thing with the rest first. Um, hello, is it Gabby? Is that your name? Or Gabby? Hello, Rain. Nice to see you. Um, so I'm going to go with the cherry blossom again. And I'm going to go in the centre. I hope everyone's doing uh, well today. Today is such a nice day outside. It's sunny again. Because yesterday and Friday was cloudy and grey and miserable. And I didn't like feel the best on Friday and Saturday. I felt a bit under the weather. Now I'm wondering if it was because of there being no sunshine. Because today I'm like fine. I feel like normal. So, you know, part of me thinks maybe it was just... My body just did not enjoy the fact that it was cold and rainy and grey. Because I think I've had my fill of those days during the winter, so I'm ready for it to be spring and summer now. And it is spring, so just, I'm going quite like this um, page because it's like got a lot of spring flowers. Although I guess these are apple blossoms, so this is probably more the end of summer because that's when the blossom starts. Oh wait, no, hold on, spring because obviously it's got to blossom before it leaves. Ugh, ignore me. I was thinking that the apple, these come before the apples do, but they don't. <laughs> they come when the tree, when the leaves start coming on the trees. Oh my goodness! That's why I like I like spring because I like all the blossom. Um, and do a little bit more over here. So sadly, I haven't been able to watch any of the streams today because um, this morning when I woke up, the Bolshoi Ballet have been playing on a Friday, no Saturday night. Um, for 24 hours they've been playing some ballets and because obviously I was streaming last night I didn't I wasn't able to like watch it um, you got 24 hours to watch it so it was like fine um, I couldn't watch it last night I, I thought I didn't want to start it like late at night because I thought I'll fall asleep because sometimes I do with ballets because the music's very gentle and relaxing and it just kind of lulls you to sleep so I watched it this morning I watched Spartacus and oh my goodness such a good ballet I've been wanting to watch it for ages because I really like obviously ancient Rome um, and Greece and obviously it's set in the Roman period um, and I really like the TV show Spartacus as well so I was just like you know the fact that it's a ballet I thought well amazing <laughs> um, so the Bolshoi they're the Russian uh, ballet like the like best ballet in Russia one of the best ballet companies in the world um, and so they uh, showed that and I think you could probably still catch it now but it will, will be gone in a few hours time so then you won't be able to see it anymore um, unless they decide to show it again. Um, so I really, really actually hope to one day see that ballet in real life because it was really good. I also felt like it, they just kind of wanted to showcase how strong the men were because, I mean, obviously they do a lot of lifts and ballets, but these lifts were like insane. <laughs> like this guy was holding the lady up with one hand. I was like, oh my goodness, how is he doing this? <laughs> um, so uh, I really liked it. I thought it was really, really good. Because last week I watched the Nutcracker version that they did. And I have to say I wasn't a big fan of their Nutcracker version. Their dancing was amazing. Um, so going back with the shell pink now. Their dancing was amazing. And actually their dancers, the dancing that they do for their Nutcracker, for their version of the Nutcracker, is different. It's not, it's not, they don't, they don't have the same choreography as the Royal Ballet do. And I was like, oh, that's interesting. I didn't realise it was different. I thought their Sugar Plum Fairy dance fit the music a little bit better. But um, because they have a huge stage, it was just like, it was too much space for all the dancers and it just kind of didn't feel like it melded well together and the snowflake dance was a bit meh. Um, I didn't really like, I mean I thought their versions of the dance was, were good, I just prefer the Russian and the um, Chinese dances that the Royal Ballet do. Oh, they're much more enjoyable and fun, I preferred those their one but I did like their like Arabian dance I thought was better, I preferred that one. Um, but they like clearly don't have I'm assuming they don't have as big a budget <laughs> as the Royal Ballet do um and it, staging like the Spartacus one it really like I thought the staging was great and it really didn't matter but when you see the Royal Ballet's all out like staging for 
for their nutcracker and then you see the bottles you're like hmm this is not quite comparable it didn't feel magical to me whereas the the royal ballet always feels magical but um yeah so unfortunately i didn't think their version was as good but i did think the dancers were amazing and i did like some of their their version of their choreography more but unfortunately i just thought the staging and the costumes was better in the royal ballet um but they're still amazing dancers regardless <laughs> So I'm kind of intrigued to see what um, other ones they're going to put on. I unfortunately didn't get to watch all the Sleeping Beauty that they put on the other week. I thought it was going to be up there forever. Unfortunately, I didn't realise, so. Spartacus and ballet. I know, right, Monica? Well, you guess what? My first ever um, uh, ballet that I saw at by, at the Royal Opera House, which is by the Royal Ballet, because that's where they are based in London. Okay, we use Ivory now. Um, I saw Frankenstein the ballet. Who thought Frankenstein could be a ballet? I did not know. Um, there's also like a company here called the Northern Ballet and they do like a lot of books. Like they've done Jane Eyre the ballet. Um, I can't think of what else they've done, but they, they do like a lot of like story type ones with um, different, I don't know, just, just different stories that you wouldn't necessarily think in a ballet. And I thought it was amazing. And I know that the Royal Ballet did do Beatrix Potter stories as a ballet. And I really wish they would, like, show that. I really want to see it. Like, I know they have it on film. So I'm hoping that maybe they'll put it on. Because, like, kids would also like it. But I'm like, I want to see it. It looks good. I've seen clips. And that's about it. Oh, Black Swan. I do like that film. It's pretty good. Hello, Mona. Nice to see you. So that is our little thing. I don't know if you can see it. I'm going to pull it up to the camera a little bit. So maybe, maybe you can see it. To me, it looks quite pigmented in person but to you it might not look like much <laughs> so i'm gonna get the ash rose and we'll just add a tiny bit in the middle um yeah it's really hard to see i don't feel like it's weird how i can see that there's color and stuff on there but then in the camera it looks like there's nothing on there um so i apologize if it looks like maybe i'll just do a couple of these i won't do all of them and then we can uh, do a little bit of something else so that <laughs> you look as if you can actually see something that's going on so oh this is not ash rose this is sea fog we don't want purple we want pink um yeah i haven't seen back one in forever the movie I'd, I'd quite like to watch it actually again ash rose so i'm just gonna add a little bit of this in the center just a teeny tiny bit because that way then it just kind of darkens up a little bit um so yeah, unfortunately, I'm sorry that you probably can't really see much of what's going on. I'll do one more of these, I think, rather than all of them. And I what what I will do is then I will outline it. Um, I probably I don't know if I'll out, look. At, I don't know if I do the dots in the centre. Why I might do, I'm not really sure. Um, but as I said, because I want to use watercolour paints to do the background, I just don't want to go paint over the white because then I only have to do it again. So it kind of makes sense to kind of do that last because um there's quite gonna be quite a few light colored flowers so i thought it'd be kind of cool to kind of do them um right let's go back to my cherry blossom we'll do this one over here because it's a bit bigger i'm just making sure we can see it hello della um hola because if you're spanish hola to you um i'm not sure if you are but <laughs> that's probably the limit of my Spanish as I do not really speak any other language. I speak a bit more French than anything else, but because I remember mostly, I remember most of the stuff from like what I learned when I did French at school, but it will be like, I could describe you the contents of my bedroom and I can ask for food. <laughs> and I just remember like odd words. I feel like I can understand it written more than me speaking. Like I don't obviously won't get like completely what the whole sentence is, but I'll understand the gist of what it is, I mean, it depends, like, obviously it won't be everything, so, um, I do watch some of those French, um, colourists on the YouTube, and I can generally understand, like, or get, um, it's more the gist is what I understand, because we're doing colouring, obviously I colour, so I understand some things that they're saying, and they will say, oh, this is the product they're using, well, obviously, yeah, you, you know, that's whatever, polychromos is polychromos in whatever language, so, like, I can obviously understand what they're saying, um, and I can kind of, like get hints of what they're on about but I obviously don't understand everything <laughs> but I love how some of the words that they say quite a few times I'm like hmm I wonder if this means this because I'm like and this and does this mean like and the next one <laughs> so I'm trying to like put together like maybe like guesses about 
some of what they say, but I kind of enjoy it. The Mucks of the Year in French. Mmm, I think I'm... See, I, yeah, mm, I think I remember most of them. I wouldn't say I remember all of them. Um, it's really funny as well because I did do German at school, so I remember, like, how to say my birthday. But then when it comes to the month, I always think of February in French. I cannot remember what February in German is anymore, so... Yeah, I kind of end up saying it kind of both. But yeah, German, I just remember odd words and that's a bit... I found German quite tricky. But I kind of do wish, like, I would like... German is a language I wouldn't mind, like, learning again. I always find it really hard to sort of pick a language to, like, just sit down and just learn one. Because <laughs> there's a couple that I wouldn't mind doing. And then I'm like, should I go for a more practical one? Or should I just do what one I fancy doing? <laughs> The French names and the prisoner. Oh yeah, I do too. These ones, no. The whole binds, you would think maybe they'd be, well I suppose they would be, if they were written in Japanese, they would be written in the Japanese, like, characters and we wouldn't know how to say it because obviously we know, you'd have to have it written our alphabet to sort of have a go at pronouncing it. But I would think that's kind of cool. I know, oh I did know what blue was. I think it was Ao. I know green's Midori. It's a drink in the name of a girl. Um, Midori is green, and that's as much as I can remember from Japanese. Um, shell pink now. Gonna use a little bit of this. I do wish that blossoms could stay on tree, like, all year round, because they're so pretty. <laughs> I also do like it when they fall, though, because it looks like snow. Kind of, like, petaled snow, and it looks really pretty. Um, I think they're, it's just they're so nice, and I do hope that one day I can actually make it to Japan to see like the cherry blossoms in season I think that would be amazing um when I did go I literally missed it by like a week because um I could I had to go like during a time that was like um a, a public holiday because my friend because they're crazy workaholics in Japan um you know like a normal person we would be like yeah I'd like some time off please like they kind of don't really do that so much I mean they, they do but I think for whatever reason like I know she like just found like she didn't really want to, I think she did take a day off but we also she also had they also had a few days off anyway because of this holiday so that's when I went so that um this now I've got the ivory um so that's when I went so like I could you know spend a bit of time and literally I missed it by like a week I was so sad I was like I could have seen another cherry blossom because that would have been really pretty but I do think that it would have been super super busy as well also nice weather as well because I think yeah I think I went around yeah I must have I went actually the end of April beginning of May when I went so the weather was quite nice actually and I remember when we went to Disneyland it was quite warm I'm just going to get back the cherry blossom because I'm just going to um add a little bit on these ends of these like folded folded little bits I don't know really what you call them the folded parts of the petal I guess and then get a bit more of the shell pink and just add a little bit of that on there. And then we'll get Ash Rose and we will add a bit on the middle. So this is Ash Rose. Just add a tiny, tiny little bit in here. Oh, hey Lou, nice to see you. And Cassie, nice to see you too. Um, hello to, I'm, I'm sure there's quite a few people lurking as well, so if you're lurking, I do also wish you a hello and welcome. Um, and that's absolutely fine if you want to lurk, because unfortunately I tend to lurk a lot of the time when I'm on streams. Like, I just find it really hard to, like, type, when I want, because I, I tend to colour when I'm watching, I find it really hard to, like, type and, colour, like, concentrate on both. I feel like I'll either end up concentrating on um, chatting and not get any of my colouring done, or, you know, obviously I just end up colouring and not chatting. And it's kind of a shame, like, I do wish I could, like, talk a little bit more. So, see, I will obviously join in here and there, but um, I obviously don't join in as much as I would like because I was like, I really want to get my picture done and I really want to finish my Wizard of Oz picture. I've almost done it. I just have to do some clouds and outlines and stuff and it's done because it's taken quite a long time to do and I'm ready to do something else now. I want to do something new. Oh, hello, Heather. It's absolutely fine if you're lurking. I was just going to say it's absolutely fine. Okay, so we've done these two cherry blossoms. I'm really sorry if it doesn't, like, come out, like, much. But, I mean, you can see that there is some colour. Because compared to this one, there's some colour down here. Um, when I post the finished fo picture on Instagram, you can probably pick it out a bit easier. Hopefully. 
and then also maybe when I've done the background maybe they'll pop out a bit more I'm not really sure so hmm, what should we do now we do have some little blue flowers I think they're called forget-me-nots these little blue ones so we could do some of those perhaps and then we could also do I can't remember the name of this one but we could also do some of that one because I was going to do that again I was going to kind of do it white but it's going to have a slightly darker pink in the middle so maybe we can do that um let me see so these little flowers down here I think we'll do some of those because oh and this I was kind of going to do a purpley blue so maybe we'll do this one and these little flowers here and then like you can see what colours I'm kind of doing for them. Oh, thanks. I'm glad you like my squirrel. I like my squirrel too. <laughs> and hello, Rachel. Nice to see you. I'm glad you're able to catch me live. Um, yes, I will only be streaming until about um, 6pm though because um, I unfortunately will be having my dinner. So <laughs> I don't like obviously want to have it too late. And um, what I'm having is like with my family. So it's kind of like they'd have to wait as well. I mean, if it was just me, it wouldn't be so bad. But obviously if it's other people they're going to be like I want food we have actually um I decided because I saw some people had had hot dogs like they've made their own hot dogs at home I mean we don't like have the proper hot dog sausages we just have the normal sausages that we have you can get the hot dog ones like the wieners or whatever they're called but I tend to find the hot dog sausages do not taste that great I don't like them I'd rather just have a real sausage so we cooked some real sausages and I got some hot dog buns and then I like cooked some bacon and chopped it up and sprinkled it on top and oh my goodness it was so good um so we had them we've had them for two two weeks in a row now so like as in last week and this week we had them and they're so good so I'm really tempted that we should have them this week again because they're really nice and it's kind of like you know kind of making me think of new well not new foods but something a bit different so I'm just having a look at my color swatches to try and figure out we'll do this like flower I can't remember what it's called but it comes in different colors but I'm going to do it kind of like a purpley blue so I'm just having a look at my prismas and my Holbein so actually if I put them here um if I zoom out a little bit mm -mm -mm -mm. can I zoom out there we go we can see them and then we can decide what colors we're going to do and that's not I'm literally pushing my book off the desk that's not a good thing um, okay, so I do feel like the diazine purple hue is quite a nice dark one. I do like the violet blue that comes in the Prisma colour. This pansy colour is quite a nice colour though. So how would it look if I did it? Diaz, dia, diazine purple maybe with pansy and then violet blue. That might look nice. We're going to use combo combination of prisoners and and um the holbeins i've not actually mixed them with like other pencils yet i've kind of just used them on their own pansy there we go pansy yes rachel they are so good <laughs> i have to say actually um I've had sausages like in other countries, like not in every single country I've been to, but like in a couple other countries. And I really do just prefer British sausages. I don't know what it is. British sausages are the best. I didn't mind the German ones. I would my set would be my second favourite. German sausages would be my second. Um, but I think it's because they put a lot of spices and things stuff in them. And I think we don't really do that so much with our sausages in the UK. I mean, you can get some with like you know different uh stuff in you can get like the german style ones or the italian style ones you can get some of the chorizo and stuff in but i just like the normal sausages just the plain ones <laughs> um, and i tend to find that they don't really do that so much in the other countries i'm sure they do somewhere but and i don't know i'm really sorry but i really did kp i'm sorry but i didn't like i know you don't eat meat so it's fine but i didn't really like um the american sausages i did like the bratwurst i had there though because i went to my friends in wisconsin and they have a lot of like german like uh, i guess german stuff there because a lot of people came their ancestors came from germany so they their sausages that they had were quite nice actually i didn't mind those the bratwurst that they had so those were good <laughs> But yeah, they're like regular sausages, not so much. And actually I'm a bit like, I don't know, I hear that they put like really bad stuff in the hot dog's meat as well. So I'm kind of a bit put off eating them in case it's got like 
I don't know, stuff that is, you shouldn't be eating. <laughs> Although to be fair, that isn't a lot of food anyway, but that's just me. But they do look good though. Hot dogs. Mm. Now I want a hot dog instead. We're having, I think we're having pork, pork chops, but I would rather have a hot dog right now. But fortunately they're in the freezer. Right, I'm sorry, I'm just sharpening pen my pencils and then we'll get get on with colouring that flower. And then we'll do some of those, I think they're forget-me-nots, we'll do some of them as well. Um, please, oh no, I just snapped the pencil. I hate it when you hear like a little, a little snap. I think I need to change the blade. Unfortunately, I didn't have any blades though when I went to the art shop before the lockdown. Um, I'm going to see if I can get some, I'm annoyed because I ordered some stuff off Jackson Arts and then I realised... Oh, I didn't get blades from a pencil sharpener. I don't know if they do them, but I thought, oh, I could have got blades for the pencil sharpener. So I may um, take out... So this pencil sharpener's got, like, a big hole and, like, a little hole because it's, like... So what I might do... I don't really use this side so much. I might take the blade out from that and swap it with that one. And then it will be a bit, you know, sharper. But, yeah, for some reason they don't sell them. And I didn't want to buy a whole new sharpener because it was £6. And I thought, I don't need another sharpener. Well, this one's fine and I can just buy blades for it. So, I'm going to have to obviously get it online now. Why is this, like, ugh. My diazine purple is, like, crumbling. I haven't dropped it on the floor. Please work. Okay, I think I'm just going to have to leave it as it is. It's a bit gnarly how it's come out, but um, I'm a bit worried if I sharpen it anymore, it's going to... It's going to break. And I keep getting so much pencil sharpener shaving dust everywhere, so I'm just trying to tie that up off my desk, so sorry. It's, it really annoys me because it goes all over my drawings. As, well, drawings? <laughs> my pictures, I wish I could draw. Right, anywho, we've got our three colours. Let's get going. But move that out the way. Um, and I'll zoom in a little bit. Do do do. Oh, there we go. This is the little flower that we're doing here. Um, do do do. Right. So we're gonna start with the diazine purple. So this is Prisma color, and this is diazine purple, and it is PC one three two. And we're gonna start with that one. Okay, so I'm hoping this point is not going to break, <laughs> so I'm not pressing too hard because I really worry that it's going to snap and then I'm going to have like nothing to work with. So um, I may end up having to maybe add a tiny little bit of black to this, possibly, if I feel like the pansy and the diazine purple like really blend super well because otherwise um we won't really see much of a difference <laughs> also i have to figure out what color i'm going to do all these leaves because obviously they're like they are different leaves for the different plants so i'm gonna have to like come up with some different ones but i don't know i always get really bored of coloring leaves like i don't mind doing a couple but after a while i'm like I'm i think it's because i want to do them different greens if i was going to do them all the same like it wouldn't be too bad but I want to do them like different greens, so I'm always like, oh, so I don't know, I may end up breaking out some of my polys to, because I love the colours for leaves that they have in the poly, so I may end up using some of those as well. But yeah, we won't, unfortunately, not going to get too much done, and we've got about half an hour left, so we'll do this uh, flower and these little forget-me-nots, and maybe some of these bleeding, oh, I was going to do the bleeding hearts kind of white as well. Although actually maybe we'll do this bigger flower because then that's kind of going to be white but with a bit of pink in it so a bit of a darker pink so should be able to see the pink on that one <laughs> like the blossom where you like hardly saw anything in that. Okay. <laughs> so I am looking forward to going back and re-watching some streams that I've missed because Unfortunately, I've not seen very many. I have to go around my... Um, so I'm going to use Pansy. This is from the Holbeins, and it's OP440. Um, hold on. Oh, 
Tilly. This is not the time to be trying to cut in my room. I don't think my chat on my iPad's working because I just saw KP comment and it's not come up. And I'm on live chat. It's not coming up. I'm going to come off my stream on my iPad and come back on it again and see if I can actually, like, see what people are saying. Right. Oh, there we go. I missed loads. <laughs> my chat just started. It just stopped working for some reason. So now I'm going to just, like, look and see where... Where? Oh, here we go. Jane. Hello, Jane. Nice to see you. I'm sorry I missed um, you popping in. Pork sausages. Yeah. <laughs> Pork sausages. Yeah, because, like, you know, beef sausages. I don't know why, but beef sausages just sounds really foreign to me. I'm sure they'd be fine because I like beef, but, like, I've just never known sausages to be made of beef before. I think you can do veggie ones, yeah. Um, Lynn and Jackson, they don't have a single... They don't have any single harbines. Oh, no. Maybe they sold out because people want to, like... I'm using the pansy colour now. Maybe they sold out because, I guess, people want them. But I hope they have them back in stock. Because, I mean, I have my Holbeins and I kind of want to get singles of them. Tilly, stop scratching my door. Or the carpet. I can't come and let you in. <laughs> I'll knock the tripod over. Okay, this isn't too bad. Like, I kind of feel like this is coming out quite nice. Um... Swordfish with the clank. Oh, that's a sharpener, isn't it? I've heard about that one. I don't know. I kind of, I, I kind of quite happy just using a small manual one, like a small like that sharpener I showed you, rather than like one with a handle. I don't know. Who knows though? Maybe you might get it one day or want something else similar. Mm. Yes, they're good. Hello, and Adriana, Adriana, Adriana. Nice to see you. I'm really sorry I don't speak Spanish or Portuguese. I'm not sure which language it is, but um, apologies, I don't speak your language. But it's cool that you're here. And hey, Sammy. Nice to see you. I'm glad that you could make it. Okay, we're just doing this like little flower down here. I did do some of those flowers that you asked, Sammy, but um. I don't feel like they were showing up very well on camera, so I decided we wouldn't do too many of them because otherwise, like, um, you know, you wouldn't really see anything get coloured and I thought that wouldn't be great. So we're going to do some of these because there's quite a lot of different flowers on here. Yeah, so these bleeding heart ones, I want to do them white, but again, we won't really see, like, that show up on the camera, so I'm thinking I probably will forgo doing these on the camera today. Okay, and now I have got Violet Blue by Prismacolor, so PC933, and you can see that beautifully on your screen right now. Ooh. Oh, is Rebecca, she, I take it she's on after me, which is cool if she is, is she? Unfortunately, I meant to look at the schedule, but because I was over at my mum's house, um, while she wanted to clean, I mean, I helped her clean, she basically mowed the lawn and I um, helped clean clean some stuff and then she took forever getting ready and I was like I need to come back and do my stream um so I didn't really have time to like look up anything I literally had time to just get my stuff set up and then that was it <laughs> no, no time for anything else so she's on um yeah KP um some people do some people on Sunday eat their dinner early I would say in general Britain British people do eat their food early because when I lived in Canada um, and I lived with all those people from other European countries, they would be having their dinner at like eight or nine o'clock and me and the other fellow Brits would be having our dinner at like five or six. And I normally have it about half five, six. Cause when I get home, uh, oh wait, when I was at my other job, I wouldn't get home till about five thirty anyway. So I'd be quite hungry because I, I, I have to get really early in the morning for work, say, um, Obviously you end up eating your lunch, you have your breakfast early, you have your din lunch early because about 12 o'clock you'd have your lunch. So I'd feel quite hungry so when, I would, when, I, when I'd be working I would have it quite um, like I guess early-ish by some standards. But obviously um, at the weekends and when I'm not working, um, which I'll see at the moment, <laughs> um, then I tend to like eat it a little bit late because I w will eat my lunch later. I don't eat my lunch till like half one, two o'clock. Okay, if I'm out, if, well, when we were allowed to go out and about, I would sometimes not even eat lunch on other weekend until like 3 p.m. <laughs> so then I would eat my dinner later because otherwise, you know. 
Okay, so we've done that flower. I've left like a little bit of white just around it, just so that we can kind of see a bit of highlights type of thing. Um, I really like how that turned out. That's cute. So this flower is also over here and here. So I'm going, actually, you know what? We could do, we've got time. We'll do these ones as well. We might as well. And that way then I don't have to like keep a million pencils because I'm like, I need the colours. <laughs> well, so we might as well do those. So I'm going to go back to the diazine purple. Diazine purple. The only flowers I wasn't able to figure find out what they were were these ones here. Like they, I googled all the rest and some of them came up with like leaves and this flower did not come up. So I was like, well, what is this flower? So I'm just going to have to like make up a colour for that one. Because I have no idea what it is. <laughs> Oh, well, KP, I can't wait to see your all purple picture. I'm sure it will look amazing. I really loved your picture of that lady that you didn't, um, by Hannah Lynn in the, is it Steampunk? I love that one. I really need to do more in her books. I haven't done a single picture in her girls, whimsy girls work or something. I don't know, the one with all the women that work. I haven't done a single picture in that yet. I need to and I've only done one in like I think I got the fairies and mermaids one it's got 50 pictures in it it's got fairies and things I have only done one in that one as well so like I need to do another one in that one um and to be fair there's probably quite a lot of hers I need to do there's just so many all the time thanks Rachel I'm glad you like the flower I love that this flower at least is showing up on the camera and so we can see <laughs> Well, how okay, meal time to sit in. Oh, I know, right? Like, I do feel like we are we are eating late because like my dad has just been doing stuff around the house, so uh, out in the garden around the house. So sometimes, or he'll tinker in his base in our basement. He'll tinker with his like electronic stuff down there. So sometimes he can be there for ages, and then it's like, but we are all having dinner. Say so we're all having dinner together. So I obviously um have to like wait and I'm like I'm really hungry and I remember when we were having those hot dogs like I had, I just was like I'm gonna start making these now I'm starving I was like it's seven o'clock and they're taking forever <laughs> so um I did have to start like making those because I was just like I can't wait anymore if I'm making my own dinner I, I'll have it whenever whatever time I want to have it so but then obviously if a parent's making different food to me and we all want to use the oven or we all want to use the hobs then we kind of have to work around each other that's the only downside sometimes I might have to wait ages for them to finish cooking their food or I've got to like quickly make mine before they do or something so I can eat it in a way yeah I know because I guess technically because it's a um steampunk thing they, they wouldn't really wear jeans but I like that you did that I think that look, it, and it goes so well as as one I like that you put like rips and stuff um this is pansy from the Holbeins I'm gonna use that next um yeah no I'm really glad that you did do that KP because I think that looks amazing I probably would have just done like black leathery type jeans but or trousers I guess because they're not really jeans but I really liked what you did I thought they were great and her hair as well I loved her hair <laughs> I think that's so cool. I need to like maybe do that like with a cool like like grey or white stripe in someone's hair. It always reminds me of Rogue from um, X Men because she had like white stripes in her hair. I know. I don't know how we'd make it look like leather though. It'd probably just look like black trousers. Oh my goodness! <laughs> I can just hear my mum chatting to my grandma, and they're so loud on the phone. So funny. Um, oh my goodness. My mum is so loud on the phone. I hope you can't hear that. Yeah, I love X-Men. I really fancy maybe watching them all. Or maybe just some of them because they're on Disney Plus apart from Logan's not on there. But then technically that's not X-Men, that's just like Wolverine's own film. But I kind of feel like maybe watching um, X-Men 1 and 2. X-Men The Last Stand is kind of pants, so I kind of like, don't really care about that one. And I'm not really into the first class one so much. I like Days of Future Past though, that was good. Apocalypse was a bit meh, and I saw Dark Phoenix and that was really meh. <laughs> they should just not have even made it. If you add white in different grades, ooh, yeah. I was thinking I'd probably definitely add white for like highlights, but hmm, I'll have to like experiment. Now we go on to the violet blue. 
And I am putting the violet blue like kind of over the purple, so it kind of like melts. These are kind of the colours that I would use as well if I was going to colour a blueberry in. Which is kind of cool. How am I doing for time? I've got 20 minutes. Okay, so we should have time for me to finish these two little flowers off and then do some of those forget-me-nots. And then I will hopefully be able to have my dinner. Hopefully. We will see. Because my mum, um, she made some Easter biscuits yesterday without raisins because we didn't have any raisins. Um, I guess they're kind of a little bit like, not shortbread biscuits. I think they are supposed to be shortbread biscuits. Um, but they're just like, I guess, a normal sugar type cookie if you're from America type thing. Um, but not although, you know, they're biscuits because biscuits are hard and have a snap and cookies are soft. There's your difference. Um, but she made them and <laughs> I don't think she's like baked them forever. And I tried one. It was, I wanted one that kind of like warmish, so it was kind of warm. But I do know that with biscuits, you do kind of have to let them harden. So it was obviously a little, a little bit soft, not massively. But oh my goodness, like the texture was horrible. It was all gravelly, and I was like, this is not good. So I had another one just before I came on stream, um, and it was a little bit better because it was like harder. But it still, it still wasn't the great best. I'm gonna, um, so I'm a bit like, mm, sorry, mum. <laughs> Uh, someone new comment? No. Um, um, so we'll just do. Oh no, my battery is running from my phone. I did get my cable. Hold on, let me put, put plug in, and then we won't get cut off by accident because that wouldn't be good. Right, there we go. Oh, your screen froze. Okay, well it's still playing okay off for me. So maybe come back out and come back in again. Okay. I did have a message come up to say that the um, battery is running out, so maybe that's what it could be. So now we're doing this little closed flower. The closed one. I really like the fact that Maria, Maria Troller tells you like what the flowers are in the back, because I don't know why, I, I do like to try and colour my flowers like how they should look um, in real life. <laughs> I mean, not all the time, because sometimes I'm like, I just want to do this, this colour. Um, and obviously sometimes if I don't know what the flowers are, I'll just do them whatever colour anyway. But I like to do them realistic looking. Because that is me. And I saw that they had some white beaten hearts, so that's why I was like, I want to do these white. <laughs> and I really wanted to try and resist doing like, I always do like pink, blue, green. <laughs> Um, what quite quite bright ones and I really want to like try and get away from doing that so too much in all my pictures I mean, it's not everything but I just feel like I use it an awful lot. So um, I just wanted to try and do, I was thinking like should I do red and orange flowers? But I just felt because of the color I wanted to do her hair like I just didn't feel like they would go um, But I will do some of these flowers like red and I mean some of these weren't even red anyway, so It wasn't much I can do so let's go back to my last colour, violet blue. And Tilly's crouching at my door again. She's like, why won't you let me in? Oh my goodness, so funny. I don't know if I said this in another stream, but she, so we have like, um, in my back garden, we have a wall, a low wall, and then there's a little gap, and then there's my neighbour's fence that separates our gardens. So she was climbing on the wall, and it's like not, it's not a really wide wall. Um, and she decided, you know, she's a cat, so she cats do sit on narrow things. She thought she'd sit on it, but the way she decided she was going to sit on it was if she was going to throw herself down to kind of like lie on it. And uh, <laughs> she lost her balance, almost fell in between the gap between the wall and, and the fence and had to use her claws to like dig her claws into the wall to stop and fall in. It was so funny. I, at the same time, I was like, oh my goodness. I was like, try like trying to like leap out and run to like go and get her but luckily she managed to pull herself up before she needed to now she's like can I get up on your bed there's too much stuff in there yes you can come on walk up there you go you're, you're gonna sit in my spot are you mm. ah she wants a cuddle I'll, have, I'll, have to get, I'll give her one shortly okay so we've done this so let's do some of the forget-me-nots now, we can do these ones down here because they're a bit easier to see. So, those are kind of more of a brighter blue. So, <laughs> I'm going to get this out. Um, I don't... Mm, no, 
don't know whether I want to. I know you're not going to see my Holbein colour chart, so I'll have a look at that. Um, what knife? <gasps> oh no! Oh, I'm glad that the cat was okay. I have seen a program where like, a cat got stuck in an engine of a car, <laughs> like a kitten. They did manage to get it. Uh, would Tilly say hi? Um, Tilly. <laughs> Tilly is sat on my bed right now, not anywhere near where I can get the camera. Maybe at the end of the stream I can take my phone off the tripod and then I can show you her on my bed. But she's literally where she likes to sit, just sat chilling. <laughs> but she doesn't really say hello. Like, she won't like climb on my desk or anything. She doesn't climb up. She does not like to sit on your lap. I've tried many times picking her up and putting her on my lap. She will not do it. She likes to just like lie herself next to your leg. Which works for me because it means I can colour at the same time, <laughs> not have a sat on my, on my picture. Um, the only thing, if I put my like, if I don't have my colouring on my lap, say, and I have just put it down, then she might sit on it. But <laughs> other than that, anyway, let's uh, quickly do these flowers because I haven't got a lot of time. Um, so I kind of want them like a bright blue. So I was thinking, I quite liked the Coben, although the Cerulean blue is quite nice. So maybe I might do Cerulean and some true blue and then probably maybe some I don't know whether denim is dark but maybe I should do indithering because it's a bit darker I don't think I'm going to use the um whole binds for that I think I'm going to use the prismacolor I'm going to put my other prismacolor ones I see I think I'll do indithering because it's a bit darker and I want a bit more dark that can be the cerulean, where's cerulean blue? Oh, and it's nice and sharp already, woohoo! Um, and true blue. We'll get those for those little flowers, I think that'd be nice. Chili is tilling, <laughs> Tilly is chilling. Oh my goodness, Chili is tilling. No, Tilly is chilling, oh my goodness. How did I get that, like, completely wrong? I get the T and the C the wrong way around. <laughs> Okay, so this is Indithrone Blue, and it's by the Prisma Colours, and it's PC208. Um, I'm going to use that, um, so it will be like a lighter blue in the middle, so we will do that afterwards, but we're going to do the darker bits first. So we're going to use that to go around here. Oh, this is a little bit hard because this pencil's getting a bit short. And also it's not like the sharpest, so... Maybe if I'd sharpened it a bit more, it might be a bit easier, but oh well. I don't like to like sharpen them all the time, because I'm kind of worried that they'll snap, but also because um, I just don't want to sharpen them all the time. Okay, and then we'll put this bit down here. So yes, whilst I was at my mother's house helping her clean, I sat and watched the movie Twister. <laughs> well, after I, like, I watched a bit of it as I was like cleaning the bits that I was cleaning and then when I had finished I then sat and watched the rest of it Cerulean Blue I really like that film and every time I think about it I'm always like this was the first film to ever come out on DVD because um I don't think so my dad like he used to work for Sony so he did used to borrow like a DVD player from there and I don't know if we ever borrowed Twister but because we were like quite young so to be fair I would I would have thought Twister might not have been like the film me and my sister would have like wanted to see back when we were like seven and eight. So um, I know that he borrowed the movie Jumanji. So that was my first ever DVD that I ever watched. It was Jumanji on DVD. Oh, I really, really like that film. Okay. Oh, I do like the blue for these. I think these look really nice. Okay. And uh, now we've got the true blue. True blue, and that's PC09. Oh, um, and I'm going to use that to go over here. Yeah, I think the KP, the only reason why I literally remember is just because we didn't own the, the, the DVD player. My dad, like, I think they were this is when they were quite expensive, so he just borrowed one, and that was just like the one disc that he got. Like, I think he borrowed another, like, a one for him and my mum to watch, but I can't remember what it was. Um, so, yeah, Jumanji is what we watched, um, but yeah, I can't really remember when we bought one, what we, what we got, what the first film was I had, I have no idea what 4K Ultra is, um, isn't it just like the, um, the quality of the picture is just sharper, I'm 
pretty sure that's what 4k is I think right we're gonna do a few more of these we won't go crazy and do too many of these because well we'll do as many as we can actually in the 10 minutes I have left because actually <laughs> I don't have loads of time so I'm just gonna do a couple more of these um using the same color so the interthrone blue first and then we'll do a little bit of the center so that you know what colors you you might want to do for the center there's actually a supermarket near me and they do like kind of like a brick and brack thing which if you're british you know you'll know what brick and brack means hopefully maybe because i don't know maybe in other parts of the uk you don't say brick and brack basically it's kind of a bit like a boot sale type thing but not you just basically bring stuff to like sell somewhere um but it's not like a boot, a car boot sale, because you don't sell it out of your car. Um, I used to do them when I was in brownies, actually, to raise some money for the brownies. So, um, so, pe so people bring some like old books um, and things, and they put them on this like table in the supermarket. But they also have <laughs> VSH, VSH, VSH tapes. Oh my goodness, I couldn't say the word then. VSH tapes, and I'm like, who the hell is gonna buy these? Who has a VSH? V oh gosh, I can't say it. Who have a video player? I'm just gonna say video player because it's just easier. Who has um a video player anymore? Like, I don't know. I have not had one for years. <laughs> I think as soon as we got our DVD player, a couple years later, we literally got rid of our, our our video player. So VHS, thank you, KP. I was like, VSH, I was like, that's not right. <laughs> VHS, oh my goodness. Um, yeah, like, I don't know anyone that has any of those anymore. Cerulean Blue next. I don't know who has them. I'm sure there are some people that have them. It's like tape players. I don't have tapes anymore. <laughs> I did like my little tape player I had, though, when I was a kid. It was cool. It's like a, a, a kid's Sony Walkman. It was red and yellow and blue and green. And I loved that thing. It was great. Um, yeah. I just think that's so funny. But they have these VHSs and I'm thinking, who's going to buy these? <laughs> I do actually have, I still have a video. You still have one? Oh my goodness. Sammy, I have one video, one video still left and it's The Lion King. <laughs> so <laughs> maybe <laughs> I should like, um, if we ever meet up in London, I should come and like, we can watch it on your, on your video player. <laughs> Even though I have it on Blu-ray and also on Disney Plus now. Um, oh, see, we don't even have a CD player anymore either. We used to, but um, you can actually play CDs on your uh, Blu-ray. So, because we, we, we don't have a DVD player either. We have a Blu-ray one. Um, completely upgraded because, only because like obviously you can play, well, you had to get a Blu-ray player to play Blu-rays and you can play DVDs on your Blu-ray and you can play CDs. So it's like all in one. It's great. Um, I do still play CDs in my car though because my car has a CD player and the radio I just get bored of like all the talk and I'm like play my play music or it plays music I'm not interested in so I'm like I'll just listen to CD so um it was quite funny because I hadn't listened to my CDs in forever and I was like well I've got my car with a CD player I'm gonna listen to them so I put them back out again now mm -mm -mm -mm. okay um Mm -mm. I'm gonna get the colours to do like the middle bits. We might do another like flower. Hello Robin, it's nice to see you. Thanks for coming. <laughs> oh, I wish I still had my Walkman, like my tape player. I had a tape player woman. I never had a CD player, never had a portable one because again, because my dad worked for Sony, um, he was like a oh, mini discs there, they're, they're a new thing, they're gonna be what everyone's having. So he got me a mini disc player. And because the discs were smaller, I could carry more. I had to like put the, from the transfer from the CD to the little mini disc, but um, I could have more like music and I could hold more whilst I traveled. So that's what I had. I do also love the nineties. Right, I think I'm gonna use hmm, maybe blue slate. I use blue slate and the sky blue light so let's get those out I think I'm gonna need to sharpen blue slate because it's a little bit blunt let's do that yeah I really do miss the 90s like oh just the music was good 
I just like the fact that we had slightly different, I don't know, I guess we do have different genres, genres of music now, but they just only ever play the dance music type stuff and rap music. Um, well, mumble rap. <laughs> it's not proper rap, it's mumble rap. Um, that's kind of all they tend to play. I think I feel like everything they play on, like, say, the music channels and the radio, the popular stuff, all sounds the same to me. Not everything, but, like, good majority of it. Like, I don't... I'm like, where's the rock music gone? Where is it? <laughs> so I do feel like there's less variety on the popular channels, but there is still variety around. I just feel like you have to go to, like, a designated station for it. And I'm like, I want a mixture of everything. Put it all together. I don't want to have to go to, like, different places. Right. So this is Blue Slate and I'm going to use that a little bit in the middle, just going to do like a little circle and then I'm going to use the Sky Blue Light. Smooth Radio, ah Smooth Radio, I'll have to see if I can find that one. Sky Blue Light is the next one. I do feel like a couple of the radios do sort of have a bit of mix. Personally I just feel like I'd rather just have my own playlist going because then I can listen to the music that I want to listen to but sometimes I forget <laughs> like what to listen to okay so I've literally got four minutes so this is how we're gonna do the forget me nots um I'm gonna very very quickly do one more forget me not and then we'll sign off so that we can listen to another one yeah I know like I really find like the rap stuff it's like the post Malone and all that it sounds exactly the same every single person and I swear the rappers want to have names that no one can pronounce because they're all got really random weird names I'm thinking I thought Eminem was weird in the day but you know at least I can pronounce Eminem can I pronounce half the other people no <laughs> I mean some of like I don't mind like some of their music here and there like some of their songs are okay but like the youth today are like, oh yeah, this song's great. And I'm like, really, there's nothing to it. I mean, the lyrics, if I know what the lyrics are, because mind you, it's a bit hard to understand what I'm saying. Um, perhaps like the lyrics to the song are, are, are like good and interesting. And I'm like, you know, in that case, I'd be like, fair enough. But otherwise, I'm kind of just like, this this music is just not very good. <laughs> I mean, not all of it, because I really like Billie Eilish. I like her, she's cool. Um, I like, because, and Lizzo, I really love her too. But I feel like, the stuff they do is like a little bit different I mean it's similar I guess to some people's but I just like that it's a little bit different <laughs> I like that grime <laughs> grime <laughs> I guess so I mean I don't know what the different what they call the different things I know Katie isn't Lizzo amazing I love that she plays the jazz flute so really I love that she's just so cool and she's like so positive as well and so about like loving yourself and that's what I really like about her because it's kind of like I know what like you know I've kind of gone through a few similar experiences I guess to what she has not everything but you know you can understand where she's coming from in some of her songs a little bit so that's why I kind of like her yes and she's so beautiful as well yeah I agree I liked um Eminem has done a new song um he seems to like rap really fast now <laughs> I kind of liked his new song though, I thought it was quite cool. Um, but I do kind of like his older stuff a bit more, but I did think the new one wasn't too bad. And I'm like, yes, Eminem, come back and teach all these whiffer snappers what real rap is. <laughs> so I do think the rap of the 90s was way better. Um, okay, and then True Blue. Do -do -do. And then we'll do the centre, and then I'll quickly show you Tilly. He's still snoozing. I know, but I feel like he raps faster now. Like this was literally him going blah, 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 blah. like that's how it how it would sound. Like you could not like figure out what it on earth he was saying. Whereas I could make out the words that he was saying before. Um, but uh, could I rap fast? No. I would love to be able to rap though. Like as in like you know, no, learn the lyrics to a rap song and actually do it and sound cool. Because I kind of feel like I don't. Drake. I see. I feel like. Drake, I do like Drake. A lot of his songs sound the same though. <laughs> um, there's a couple of songs that I quite like from him, but a lot of them I'm just like, these are exactly the same. Like every single song sounds the same, but there are a couple that I feel like don't. Like I really like the Hotline Bling one and the Kiki one, I quite like that one. But yeah, bless Drake. A lot of his music sounds the same, but I don't mind him. But I do think he's like a little bit like better than some. <laughs> 
Okay, so we have basically finished what I did today. I'm afraid we didn't, oh, and it's probably a good time of signing off now because my, my light is casting a weird shadow from the window. So um, we managed to do a few flowers. We managed to do some blossom things over here. We managed to do these, whatever they're called, over here and here. And we did a few forget-me-nots, which are around quite a bit on the picture. I didn't get a chance to get around to that flower, but that's okay. So I'm sorry I didn't get like too much done, but... I didn't have a lot of time, you'll see. Kind of have to have dinner. So um, I really want to thank um, Vicky again for hosting the event and setting it up and getting so many of us amazing people together to do it because it's been real fun and I'm looking forward to watching other people's stuff. Um, and you guys get will get to see this when it's finished because I'll post it up on um, Instagram and I will obviously in my completed pics vid, you know, show it to. Um, I'm going to quickly just come and show you to Tilly. Look at her snoozing away. She's snoozing by my pencil case. <laughs> I do tend to have colouring stuff on. Anyway, so that's her snoozing. Um, and I also like Justin. Justin Timberlake's great. I love him. Um, so yeah, I will see you soon. So thank you for watching. I hope you have a lovely time. Um, if it's Rebecca that's streaming next, please go and check her out. Whoever it is supposed to be next, I would go check them out. And I will see you soon. So, bye everyone. Uh, now I always have to figure out how to turn this off. So, bye again. <laughs>